Good morning, guys. I'm going to uh, attempt to try to show you this trade today. I'm, uh, I'm going to the beach today, but I'm going to take a chance on doing a poor man's debit spread. Okay. Uh, today is fair day. The market has a tendency to really move today. So what I'm going to try to do is get in uh, on a debit spread, uh, probably a $10 wide spread. And uh, I'm going to try to get in for somewhere around, oh, let's just say 30 to 50 cents on the call side and 30 to 50 cents on the put side. And I'm going to put me in a GTC of about a, somewhere between a dollar and dollar fifty. And then I'm taking off and going to the beach. Okay. Uh, if it feels and get me out of dollar fifty, I'll make money. If it don't, then I'll lose a hundred bucks or less. Okay. I'm willing to risk that. So, uh, the market will be open in here in about 12 minutes. I'm going to come back to you guys and let you guys see it live. Okay. Anyway, hit you in a minute. Uh, what I wanted to tell you guys is I do my normal stuff. You know, I read the, the uh, five things to know before the market open. And mostly it's focused on the Fed today. Okay. The other thing is I did my expected move and the 50% expected move is like $59.40. So when I put these trades on, I want to be inside of that price, okay? The $59.40, $59 away from the current price. The current price now is $44.43. So if on the call side, I want to be somewhere around uh, 4500 it's 4443 and some change. So on the call side, I want to be 4500 or less, you know, maybe 4490, 95. And then on the put side, to get 60 points away would be uh around oh, 4385. Okay, so I want to be at 4385 or higher. So if I can get about 4590, 4595, that's what I'm shooting for. Okay. But anyway, just want to hit you guys with that. We got eight minutes in this market to be open, and I'll be back with you to see, so you can see if this thing gets filled or not. Hit you later. Okay, guys, I'm back. We got about a minute and a half before the market open. And I want to get everything set up so I make sure that I don't remiss, miss none of it. Okay, we got a minute and 10 seconds. As you can see here, I got everything set up. I'm ready to go, okay? Uh, we're just waiting. Oh, man. So, uh, you know, today is fair day, and it's not a normal day that I trade, especially doing a credit spread, but because we're expecting the market to move and move B, it's the perfect day to do a poor man's debit spread, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're gonna do a debit spread. And remember this, guys, with a debit spread, unlike a credit spread, the most that you can lose is what you put into the trade. So today, I'm setting these trades up to where I'm either going to win or I'm going to lose everything on these trades, okay? And that's why I'm only playing with $100 or less. So uh, here we go. Okay, the market is open, and it is opening up. So let's see if we can get in on the put side right quick. Let me see here. There's the 90s. I'm going to shoot for that one right now. Put it in for 30 cents. That's going to feel. Okay, we're in at 8.30, even. Writing that down. We got it for 30 cents. We're doing a put on that. And uh, we have the 4380s. 
and the 4390s. I'm gonna put me a sale price in right now that you can see. And this is gonna be a sale to close. I'm changing it up here at the top. I'm gonna put this sucker in for a dollar fifty. Maybe I'm a little greedy. I can watch it a little bit at the beach, but I'm gonna take a chance. I'm putting it in for a dollar fifty. Put that in. Huh. Oh, brother, I hate this thing. Why it acts up like this? Oh, sorry, wrong side. So, buy to close, no, sell to close, I'm sorry. Buy to close. Okay, now then, let's put it in for $1.50. Now Who knows, guy just may get there. Or what I may do is go back and change it and put both of them in at the same price for a dollar fifty. We'll see. Okay, put that in. Okay, now then it's going down a little bit, so let's see if we can get in on these puts over here. What I said I want to be inside of five hundred. This is at five oh five. You know what? I'm going to see if I can take that. So we're looking at the call side right now. It's the uh, 4505s. I really want to get this 4500. But right now the Dow is up nine. Let's see if it can come down a little bit. We don't mind waiting. Let it pull back a little bit. Look at that joker down to 35, 40. This is the one I really want, guys, right here. Okay, it's down to eight something. It's coming down a little. I bet if I was to wait, I could get it for cheaper, but I'm going to the beach, guys, and... uh I'm just going to take a chance on this trade. See, 30 and 40 is 70. So 70, 70. I'm, I'm going to shoot with this one here for 40 cents. Here we go. See if we can get it. Putting it in. Okay, we're in. So the time is now 8.33. For 40 cents. And this is a call. Writing it down. We got the 45 05 and the 4515. And there's two ways we can put this in. Right, right now, I'm going to show you this way. So I want to get out of this thing. Since we bought it, we got a sale to close. So then it, you switch over to this side now, and it says sell to open. You change that to a sell to close, and you do the opposite. And now I'm going to change this to $1.50. Okay, put it in, boom. Now, that's one way we could do it. The other way that we could do it is, we could change this into an iron condor. Okay, and let me show you how you do that. So you go up here, well, you don't have to do that, let me cross it out. You just go down here and say, and change it from a vertical call to an iron condor, right? Okay, now, we're not doing 12, we're only doing one. So we'll put that down to one. Okay, now, it's a $10, the wings on this is $10 wide, so we change that to $10. Oh, come on, thing. You know, I don't have none of these problems until I try to record it. And that's when I start having all the problems. Okay. Change that to a 10. And then we have to figure out which strike prices we, we bought, okay, in this case. So we did the 
4380s and the 4390s. So that means we got the 4390s on the put side. And then on the calls, we did the 4505s and the 4515s. So let's do the uh, 4505s. And you figure out what's the difference between them two. So you say 4505 minus 4390. And that is, look like 115 points. Uh, yeah, that's 115 points. So the body on this trade is 115 points. So we go down to 115. That changes, and then we look for the trade that we have, which is the 4390s and the 45. Okay, 4390s and the 4505, right there. That's it. So we got in it for 70 cents. Right now it's going for 70 cents. And we're saying we're willing to set it for $1.50. So what we would do is change this, instead of a buy to open, we change it to a buy to close because that's gonna change all of it. Okay, you see everything has changed. And then we move this price up to $1.50. That'll get us 100%. Okay, and what this will do is it kind of increases your odds of getting out of this at $1.50 because if there's something left on one side, say like one side gets to $1.20 and the other side is down to 30 cents. Well, both of them together will be $1.50. So it increases your odds of getting out at your uh, at your $1.50, okay? So I think I'm gonna put it in that way. So in order to do that, I, I gotta go and cancel these orders here. So I'm hitting on that. Cancel order. Hit on that. Cancel order. Okay, let's go back. Wow. It don't usually do all of that to go back. But this time it did. God, it changed everything. Okay, let's fix this back up again. Change this to an iron condor. The wings are $10 wide, cause I did a $10 spread. And the body was a 115, Is that right? Yeah, 115. Okay, now we gotta go with what we had, which is the 4390s, 4505, right now it's going for 70 cents. We're gonna put it in for, we're gonna put it in for, uh, we gotta change this again from a buy to open to a buy to close. So we're closing out the position and you always have to do the opposite of what you did to get in, okay? Now we're gonna move this up to $1.50. Then we put the order in. Okay, now I'm going to the beach, okay? I'll be looking at it on my phone, you know? But I'm not gonna worry about it because I know with a debit spread, the most that I can lose is $70, okay? I put it in for 30 cents on the put side, for 40 cents on the call side, uh, if it gets to a dollar fifty or higher, it's gonna get me out at a dollar fifty, which would be a double. Okay. If it don't get to that point, I lose seventy bucks. So I'm only gonna pay the commissions on one side if I lose. Other than that, I'm just gonna let it expire worthless. And if I win, because I'm getting one fifty, which is uh, you know, a double would be 140. So I'm getting ten dollars over my double. So if it wins, that extra ten bucks should pay for my commissions. 
So anyway, we'll see what happens. Right now it's going for 68 cents, okay? So it's just a wait and see. The other thing I do is I like to write down the deltas, okay? Of the legs that we want to exp really go. So on the put side, the leg is 4390s and the delta on that is 351, okay? And what that mean is we got a 3.51% chance of it winning on that side, very low, which is the reason why we like doing credit spreads, okay? And then over here on this side, the delta is at 6.15. And I know it's confusing, so here's an easy way to do it. My sister showed me this. Thank you, Deborah. If you move the decimal point back two plus two spaces, like it's right here, you go one, two. That lets you know you have a 6.15. Here, you move it back two spaces, boom, boom. It lets you know you have a 3.23, okay? Now, whatever this, when you're doing a debit, whatever the delta is, is your probability of the price going over that strike price. For example, this delta is 3.25. So we have a 3.25% chance of the price of the SPX, which is right now at 44.56, going over 43.90, okay? Which is a 40 something point move. Now, the good news is, is that we don't need it to increase and go over that price. What we just needed to do is head and get close to that price and get close enough to the point where both of these prices combined will equal over 150, okay? And that's all we're doing. So I'm not gonna be able to just show you this trade live. What I'll do is come to you at the beach and talk to you about it as I'm watching it. Um, if I ever see that it feels, cause you know, I'm gonna use my mobile device to look at it. If I ever see that it gets filled and it trades, and if it happens, it's probably going to happen somewhere around the last couple of hours of trading because the uh, Fed comes out and talk at 2 Eastern time. And he usually talks until about 30 minutes before the market close. Because I'm not even going to worry about trying to save any of this money. You know, if it don't work, I'm just accepting the fact that if it don't work, I'm going to lose my 70 bucks. Okay plus commissions about 75 bucks. So that's the way I'm gonna treat it. That's the way I'm gonna roll with it. Uh, before I go, I want you, I want to show you guys the chart. So let me do that. Just a minute here. Uh, moving over to the share screen on the chart. Okay, now this is the chart. This is yesterday's trading. Let me change this right quick. I don't know why it does that. Okay. Now, this is today's trading over here, this little point right here. As you can see, this is where it closed, right at this blue line right here, which was about 43, what was it? 43, 43, now uh, 44, 43, I'm sorry. And then it moved up. Okay, and now you see it's coming back down. So uh, we need this circuit to shoot up to about 4480 or something like that. 85. Or shoot down B. Okay. Or just have some really big candles where it spike. And that will create enough fear to make that price jump in our option premiums. So uh a little bit I want to move it down to 125, but I'm not. I'm gonna leave it where it is and let it roll. Uh this is in five dollar increments. If we want to see our position. I can shrink that screen. Okay, now you see it. Okay, I needed to get up here at this green right here or get below here at this green right here. If we were doing a credit spread, the red line would be closer to the price of the stock. Okay, these red lines. But because we're doing a debit, which means we're spending money, the red lines are further away and the green lines are closer. So anyway, we want this joker to push up or push down pretty big. 
normally we normally in the credit spread trading we would want this thing to stay right where it is right in the center this time we wanted to get close to the edge or go outside of the fence we call these our fences okay we want this sucker to get outside of this fence or get real close and that'll be enough for us to uh get that move here's the good news the 50 percent expected move is 5940. if this joker move 50, 50 just call it 60. if it moves 60 points we're gonna win if it moves 60 points from the previous close which was 43 44 43 That'll mean this will be at 205 or 203 and some change. That'll be close enough for us to get our money. And if it drops 63 points, 60 points from 43, that'll be at about, oh, 4380. What would that be? 43. 82 or something like that and we got the 4390 so we would definitely win on that one okay so uh anyway there it is you guys got the trade for this morning uh i won't be able to show it to you live on the screen like this again you just have to listen to me talk and tell you about it but uh i'm hoping this thing go off good so until later on I'll talk to you later. So guys, I'm waiting on this trade to see what it's gonna do. And the market pretty much ain't moving, okay? But today, while I'm waiting on this trade, I told y'all I was going to the beach. So I'm out here with Angel and Cortez, and we having us a beach day, okay? And when I tell you Angel picked us a good place. Oh my goodness, guys. He picked us a good place. So I'm just gonna kind of show it to y'all here for you. You see him out there? That's them out there at the beach right now, baby. Just chilling, chilling the most. And all this, guys, while I'm still trading. That's what's so cool about it. Wow, I'm still Except it's probably about a handful of people here outside of us. And so we just, oh man, we just loving it. Let me show you the place while I'm backing up. That's it right there. So they got that big old restaurant right there. They got a little private, private beach club over here to the side where you can hang under the little umbrella or huts looking things. Got your little shower there so you can get cleaned up. This is the lick here, guys. Little hotel on top if you wanted that. Spend the night. This is it, baby. This is it. And here's the sweet part. They have good Wi-Fi that's fast, okay? So you can bring your laptop out here and guess what? You can trade from here. So you better believe that's what I'm gonna be doing at least twice a month, okay? I'm gonna be trading from the beach. Don't get much better than this, guys. I'm just saying, you don't get much better than this. This is slow life trading, okay? This is slow life trading to the max. I thought getting in the pool was good. Getting in the pool ain't got nothing on this, but guess what? They have a pool. Let me give you guys the tour. Okay. Here come the tour. Okay, we just I just got out of water. Let me take you up to the, let me see. Which way is the best way to go here? Yeah, okay. Let me take you up to the shower here. Step across these treacherous rocks. Okay, we're going up the stairs. They got the pool, guys. They got the pool that you can even get in. Okay? This is the shower right here. Where you can rinse yourself off, get your feet off, then you can get in the pool. Then, they got the dance floor right here if you wanted to dance. Okay? 
And then they got the, the beach club over here. If you want to just chill out over here, you can even do that from here. Okay, all right here while you're on the beach. You can't tell me, you, it's hard to get much better than this, guys. Okay, it's just hard. That's all I'm saying. It's just hard. I'm gonna keep you updated on what this trade is doing. But for now, i hit you later. Okay guys, I just, the Fed, it's a little after uh, two o'clock Eastern time. The Fed just decided to leave rates the same, which we all knew that's what he was gonna do. And he just said that the rates were gonna stay higher for longer. And the market has reversed. It got up to, I think, 12 points high. At least that's what I saw. Well, the last I look now, it's down to about seven points. And my trade that I got in for 70 bucks is now trading for about, uh, that's it, man. Thank you, sir. Uh, now it's trading for about 40, 40 cents. So I'm gonna leave it on because sometime, once he does that press conference, it'll come out and he'll, it, the market will move really big one way or the other. So I'm still gonna wait and see what happens. We got a little time left. I think we got another two hours before the market closes. So we'll see, just giving you the update. Okay guys, it's 150. We got about, or you could say it's, uh, let's see, 10 minutes to four Eastern Standard Time. And we got about 10 minutes before the market closed. The market was down to, 44.08 I saw it down there maybe even 44.07 and my trade well you know it, it didn't get up to a dollar fifty but I saw it at about 30 cents of course by the time I got everything together on my mobile phone I ended up getting out at 10 cents okay I don't even know why I got out but I just when I see something that's not gonna win, I just hate to let all that money just go to waste. So, so what if I only save seven dollars? It's seven dollars after commissions. So today I probably end up losing about sixty-eight bucks. Okay, with commissions and everything, but it was a chance I took anyway. Now here the funny part is, remember in the beginning when I told y'all we only had like a three point something percent chance of winning on one side. And I forgot what the other side was. Maybe it was 6% chance of winning. Well, this is the reason why I don't like doing debit trades. I like doing credit trades. Because, yeah, the market moved down 30 something points, but it didn't go below 490. And if I would have been doing my free money trade today, which I started to do, but I didn't, I would have had something like the, the uh, on the call side, I would have needed to go above 44, 45, 10 or something like that, okay? And this thing never even got close. So, you know, it is what it is. But uh, it's a chance you take. And this is, again, this is also the reason why I don't trade on, on fair days. I go to the beach. But in this case, I thought I would do a video where we could try to learn something. And, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it won't. But the cool thing is, we're not risking much to make this thing happen. This is what I call a lottery, a lottery trade, a lot of lotto ticket trade. So uh, anyway, it's all good. Hope you guys like this. I'm getting ready to go get back in the water. Until the next time, guys, peace out. I'll come back one more time to let you know where the market closed in about seven minutes. But for now, peace out. I'll talk, talk to you later. Bye. Okay, guys, the market is finally closed. It closed down 40 something points. I think it's 4402. Uh, maybe I should have stayed in a little bit longer. I might would have got a little bit more. I don't know. But either way it go, uh, the cool thing about a, a debit trade is you can't lose no more than what you're trading with. So I think I end up losing about $62 or $68 or something like that after commissions because I end up getting out of it at ten dollars at the end and uh, it was just something where I wanted you guys to see what it's like to do a debit trade it, it could have worked out it didn't 
but I told you it only had like a three point something percent chance of winning on the upside and a six point something percent chance of winning on the downside. And that's why I don't trade them on a regular basis. This was a day where I thought the market could really move big, so I took a chance. Uh, normally this is a day when I don't trade at all because it's Fed day. But uh, anyway, it was a great learning experience and I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video. Uh, until the next time guys, peace out and keep it slow.